This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I delete a hotkey? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have one of the projects here loaded in, so the Searchlight project. And the question is asking about deleting a hotkey after you have it assigned. So I'm just going to come up here, and we're just going to make a hotkey really quick for, say, the ZAdd function here. So to create a hotkey inside of ZBrush, you just need to simply hold down Control and Alt on your keyboard and then click. And you're gonna see you're gonna get this little message at the top here, which is telling you that you can press any key combination to assign a custom hotkey, or you can just press Escape or Mouse button to cancel, or you can press to delete to remove the previous assignment. So I'm just gonna add a hotkey to ZAd here. So I'm just gonna press U on my keyboard. So I held down Control and Alt, clicked on the button I wanted to assign a hotkey to, and then now I'm just gonna press the key that I wanna assign, so just pressing U. And so now you'll see as I hover over ZAd here, it's saying that ZAd is linked to the hotkey of U. So let's say I select Z sub and I press U on my keyboard, it's going to toggle back to ZAd. So let's say I've gone through and I've assigned a bunch of hotkeys, but now I want to remove a hotkey that's associated with the button here. So I no longer want ZAd to be U, you know, maybe I want U to be RGB. So how can I remove a hotkey that I've assigned? So to do this, just hold Control and Alt and click on the option again. And this time you just need to press the delete key on your keyboard. And this is going to remove the hotkey that's currently assigned. So if I hover over ZAd here and press delete, it's now going to remove that, and you can see now it says Z add, and it has no hotkey modifier next to it. So if I switch back to Z sub and then try pressing U on my keyboard again, you're gonna see it's not going to select Z add. So the process to delete a hotkey again is first let's just assign one. So I'm gonna to go to RGB here, hold down Control and Alt and click. This is going to allow me to assign it. I'm gonna press I this time to assign RGB to I. And after you have it assigned, you'll see that it's going to get a pop-up. It's going to tell you which hotkey it's assigned to. And so now whenever I press I on my keyboard, it's going to switch to RGB. Now if I want to delete that hotkey, I can just hit Control and Alt and click. And now this time, just press the Delete key, and this will remove that hotkey associated with the button. So that is the process to create and delete hotkeys that you may have created inside of ZBrush. Once you have done your hotkey modifications, you probably want to store this and you want to go to preferences up here, go to hotkeys and then just click store and that's going to store those hotkeys. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.